Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another react video here today. Reacting to um one of my favourite movies, honestly. Uh the whole franchise as a whole. I can remember seeing the first movie. I remember it's dark, it's wet, it's a Wednesday in Britain, of course it is. I remember going off to school and it was great. And I got the books and then I saw the others and yeah, the Hunger Games. Okay. I don't know about everyone else. I am fully back in my Hunger Games era. Um, <laughs> Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is coming. I'm thriving, honestly. I am ready to rewatch the old ones. I'm ready to reread that book, uh, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, for it. And I'll be side. And so I've got all ready to react to them. I've got my Mockingjay pin on, which I'm going to furiously turn quite a lot, I imagine, during this, because it's spinning. I've got my. Oh, oh, where are they? Oh, oh, oh. There they are. My folklore cardigan, um, because, you know, Taylor over here, there she is, uh, very synonymous with the Hunger Games to me at least, you know, safe and sound, the Great War is a very Everlock song, uh, woulda, coulda, shoulda is very Katniss, uh, and so I'm all ready, and I hope you are too, because without further ado, let's just jump right into it, uh, with a reaction to the Hunger Games. This is your third year as game maker. What, what defines your personal signature? Dream. It's such a sharp contrast to dra drag you into it straight away. <laughs> God, you got S Caesar Flickham and everyone's favourite Nepo baby. And Beard, I'll remember his name as we go on. Uh, <laughs> talking, you know, it's a nice chill talk show environment like James Corden's got bloody Harry Styles here. Uh, so it's kind of your personal style, it's kind of like your signature. Uh, and then you cut to the screaming going on in the districts whilst they're doing all that. It's, it just, it just... Right like that, right into it. Try to go to sleep. Deep in the meadow. Oh, it's such a just lovely little sister relationship. Honestly, early shout to Jennifer Lawrence and Willow Shields because they absolutely kill it in these films. Another little relationship was so cute, and I, just, I love that song. I love that song. Ah. Oh. I, I love this movie. I'm going to be so happy for it. Cause it not about a child murder. Uh, just <laughs> cause I, I love these movies. What are you going to do with that when you kill it? Damn you, Gail. Ugh. Gail. Uh, I was just going to call out um, Candice's skills and <laughs> just show them off. Uh, using the leaves to check for the wind, firing the rock to scare out the deer and get it into the open. She had it. If it wasn't for Gale, Katniss had that deer. Just one year, what if everyone just stopped watching? Well, they won't, Gale. Well, what if they did? What if we did? Won't happen. Root for your favorites, you cry when they get killed, it's sick. Gale. No one watches, and they don't have a game. Um, I, it's, it's a alright point. Uh, no one watches, we don't have a game, fair. But, you know, then... You know, maybe, maybe they just say, screw it, shove off the games, and just kill <laughs> two people from each district, you know? Which, a bit less nice, you know, just automatic death rather than the sliver of hope. So, maybe maybe rethink that, Gail. Maybe rethink it a little bit. Oh, I forgot. Here. Oh my god, is this real? Yeah, better be. Cost me a squirrel. Happy Hunger Games. And may the odds be ever in your favour. That bread looks so good. <laughs> it's just a small little roll, but God does it look good. Must it must look even better to them. Starving out there. To me, mildly hungry. Also looks amazing. Thank you, girl. What's this? That's a mark and jay. How much? You keep it. Thank you. Little did that old lady know what she was doing in that moment. <laughs> oh, God. She just thought, I'll give this nice young lady a nice Mark and Jay pin. And my God, what came of it? Huh? Welcome. Happy Hunger Games. May the R be ever in your favour. God, I love Effie. <laughs> Her development through the films rather than the books is just so stark <laughs> but she's so good and her outfits are always so slay honestly just the, the differential between her 
pop of colour and the grey scale I'm staring at that is District 12 is just... Love it. Primrose Everdeen. I volunteer as tribute. You have a volunteer. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Still get ting goosebumps, tingles. It is a moment. It is a moment in cinema. God. The odds of her name getting drawn. <laughs> how unlucky can you be? This is her first time in there. She's got one paper. You saw how many papers were in that bowl. One paper. And it's just... Ugh. People like Gail are 43. She has one and she gets drawn. Oh, God. So unlucky. But Katniss... Ever the big sister mother figure here. Shout out to her. Ah, oh, I volunteer. Iconic. Iconic. Well, I bet my hat that was your sister. Yes. Let's have a big hand. Peter Malark. Ah, oh, the free finger salute. <laughs> the just the look of just shock and nothing on, on Katniss's face. Um, contrasting with Effie trying to do witty banter. I oh, bet that was your sister, wasn't it? You know, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> oh, the contrast and differences between you know, the capital and the districts are just, it's great. And Peter, Effie, we need to talk about your your, your methods, though. Because for the boys, you saw a hand going, she was shuffling them around and then pulled out Peter. For the girls, it was, Meh. that one, you know. <laughs> like, let's pick a style here, Effie. You're a style queen. Let's pick one of them, please. I don't have much time. Don't take any extra food from them. It isn't worth putting your name in more. Gail will bring you game. You can sell cheese from your goat. Just trying to win. I'm smart, you know. You can hunt to protect you. Giving her the pin. Iconic. Um, I know Katniss is trying to kind of reassure her, honestly. I don't think Katniss in this moment really believes she's got a chance. But, like, she she's very good. <laughs> With a bow, she can hunt. Um... You know, district, the career district's going to look down a district 12 you know. Uh, especially a female one. So, she did a, she, her odds, you know. <laughs> never count her out. Even going into it, never, she didn't count her out. Have you ever met him, Hamish? He did win this thing once. I just don't think there's anything wrong with getting a little bit of help. Oh, tense. Tense in their com first conversation here. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, God, there is nothing wrong with it, Peter. There's nothing wrong with it. We kind of still think about those bloody pigs. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Hamish did win it. It is crazy to think that District 12 is, honestly, with, with Hamish's liver, at any given time, one bottle of vodka away from having no victors right now. And, um... Then who trains them? I know capital students used to, but what are they going to teach them to, you know, a former winner of the games? What, what can they teach them for? You know, like, what is the plan in this scenario? That scenario. <laughs> so eager. Yeah, I want to know what the plan is. You're our mentor. You're supposed to tell us how to get sponsors and give us advice. Embrace the probability of your imminent death. Jesus Christ, hate Mitch. <laughs> Oh, everyone's favourite alcoholic uncle. My God. Peter is very eager. Peter, is, he's, 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 he wants knowledge, that boy. He wants to know how to survive this. Which, fair enough to him. Fair enough to him. Um, and, but also to Hamish, yeah. He won his games, then had everyone he loved murdered, and has been a mentor for 23 years, and so seen 46 children that he's mentored die so fair enough that the man just wants his booze <laughs> and thinking why am i wasting my time with this anymore man understandable hey me i know in your heart that there's nothing i can do to save you why are you here then the refreshments i think that's enough of that <laughs> you made me spill my drink feet for free hey <laughs> oh I mean, you can. Uh, that moment says a lot as well. All, a little moment say a lot in these bloody films. Um, Peter, in that context, just seeing a Hamish, you know, just this drunk guy, I'm going to get the booze off him. But Hamish, he's grown an incredible tolerance to alcohol at this stage, okay? It doesn't really affect the man, fair to him. Um, <laughs> so he's still got his wits about him to 
barely spill any drink and to pin Peter down with just his foot. So, I that tells you a lot about everyone, doesn't it? Made me hate much. That's a good way to get killed. What's a good way to get killed? Oh, Joy, why don't you join us? <laughs> oh, Katniss is very untrusting of everyone, especially Peter right now, because uh, he is her opposition, I suppose. Uh, and yeah, she comes by and she sees him and Hamish having this cozy little breakfast discussing things, comes in and they're talking about, you know, she'll find ways to get killed and that. And yeah, she she's already very suspicious and that ain't gonna help, is it? How do you find shelter? Past the jam. How do you find shelter? Give me a chance to wake up past the marmalade. That is mahogany. Just killed a placemat. Iconic lines all around. <laughs> that is mahogany. And congratulations, she killed a place in that. Oh, uh, yeah. Katniss ain't messing around, okay? She's surviving for Prim. She is surviving for Prim here. She ain't messing around. She doesn't have time for your games, Hamish. I do understand where you're coming from, Hamish, okay? I, too, am just a sleepy little guy who needs to wake up a little bit, okay? Um, <laughs> so I relate to you there, Hamish. But she ain't playing around right now. You really want to know how to stay alive? Get people to like you. Not what you were expecting. You're in the middle of the game, and you're starving. Some match would mean the difference between life and death. And those things only come from sponsors. You have to make people like you. And right now, sweetheart, you're not off to a real good start. Yeah, the way Katniss's face dropped, because, yeah, she can hunt, she can survive, she knows how to make a bow, all of that. But getting people to like her... <laughs> Yeah, she's not very trusting, she's not very personable. Tough. Peter sails by it, okay? He has got charisma coming out the wazoo. Katniss, a lot less so. So not what she wanted to hear. Better keep this knife. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, Katniss already untrusting of Peter and everything because of the past and whatnot and the pigs and yeah. Um, but yeah, Peter smashing this. Okay, he's at the window, he's smiling, he's waving, he's saying hello. He's excited to go out and see the people, see his people. Yeah. He, honestly, another life, that man was made for the talk shows. <laughs> he would have had a late night talk show and he would have murdered it. I'd have tuned in every week. It would have been blockbuster. Okay, Capital, you really missed out. Okay, him and Caesar together on comms would have been would, would, a game changer for the Hunger Games. <laughs> also, the amount of sexual tension in that commentary booth would be a game changer as well. That was one of the bravest things I've ever seen with your sister. I think the Chibi Parade would help you make an impression. Somebody that brave shouldn't be dressed up in some stupid costume, now should they? I hope not. A little smirk. Katniss, trusting Sinhair. Fair play. Shout out, Sinhair. And the man that he is, because oh my god, <laughs> Sinner is incredible. I love Sinner very much. If Sinner could do my wardrobe, I would really appreciate that, honestly. Don't you love how the stylists reflect the character of each district? What is that? The background. I love it. I love that. Once again, Peter Malak, the king of PR. <laughs> Oh, Katniss hesitant to it. Incredible outfits, by the way. Once again, Slay, Sinner, you know, killed it. Um, but yeah, 10 out of 10. He knew what they'd like. Hold hands, raise their arms up. And they love it. Throwing roses. Caesar's bigging them up on comms. Peter, you were wasted in the coal mines, okay? You were wasted in that bakery. Hey, where's my knife? Huh? I took my knife. Don't touch your knife. Touch your knife. Huh? He took my knife. I mean, just sit down here, huh? I'll wait for the arena. You're the first one I get. Oh, I love Rue. <laughs> KO's swearing a blood vendetta on that kid. <laughs> so poor him. <laughs> but Rue having a great time with that fresh. And I'm like, oh, Rue, you. <gasps> oh, I love her. And fresh. Shout out fresh as well while I'm here. You know what my mother said? She said District 12 might finally have a winner. But she wasn't talking about me. She was talking about you. I'm not very hungry. Oh, uh, screw Peter's mum, man. Jesus Christ. Abuses her child for burning bread. Uh, and saying comments like that, it's just... Ugh. Ugh. I believe in you, Pete. 
You always, you always be the the boy with the bread in my heart, please. I love you. Katniss is finally remembering this memory fully. You know, remembering those fragments of Peter coming out with burnt bread while she's over there starving <laughs> and just tossing it with the pigs, seeing her and going in. But no, no, no. He tossed it to you, Katniss. He, he, on purpose, and took the p Oh, Katniss. Peter has no game plan, okay? He's just, he's just a boy with bread and love in his heart. That got awful something of me. Throw that metal thing over there. Hamish said we're not supposed to show our skills. I don't care what Hamish said. He launched that. I went a distance. He is a strong boy, isn't he? He's a big, strong boy. Oh, Peter. Um, and yeah, they were impressed or whatever, not laughing him anymore. But yeah, Hamish had to keep it a secret, which, fair enough. I only show it um, when you're getting graded and the other tributes aren't here. So they don't see it and they don't know your skill set. But um, at least the other kids aren't laughing at you anymore, I guess, Pete. <laughs> hey. How did you do that? I used to decorate the cakes down at the bakery. I think you have a shadow. Yeah, Pia can paint, man. That boy can paint. Because God, is he good at that? Learn that just 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 on cakes, whatever your canvas is. Just gotta use it. Katniss has a little shadow, but Katniss does have a fondness for you know children's pushed into the Hunger Games after what happened to Prim. You know, Prim and Rue the same age. It's, yeah, it's tough. It's hard. It's hard. A little shadow. Tomorrow they'll bring you in one by one. Oh god, the evaluations. And Hamish, yeah. No, just, he, he pissed. Just pissed. <laughs> He's training these kids to go in and fight to the death and hopefully survive with a 1 in 24 chance. Um... Whilst the, the capital children running around with plastic swords playing pretend Hunger Games, yeah. He was in the actual, he was in a double Hunger Games for God's sake, double the contestants. I mean, fair enough, fair enough, man. Katniss Everdeen, District 12. <laughs> Assholes, bunch of assholes. <laughs> Not paying attention. I don't care that you sat through 22 children already. You're nearly at the end. Just bloody focus. Dudes. God. Um, and Katniss nervous. You could hear the you could hear the, the arrow clanging against the bow from where she was shaking a little bit. She, not on her game there. It's nerve wracking. She's earning the points that will earn her the sponsors to hopefully not die. Um, a nervous experience I'm sure we'd all agree. <laughs> she is disgusted. Perfect bullseye, right in the centre of the centre. And they're not even paying attention. Because she whiffed the first ones, they just counted her out and ignored her. Like, mm, mm, makes me mad. Gets me mad. Thank you for your consideration. <laughs> slayed that Katniss. Slayed that so hard. <laughs> Too many focused on their meal. Well, well uh, you get their attention, why don't you? She nailed that. <laughs> all, all of their faces. And then the bow. Oh. The bow genuinely might be one of my favourite part of the battle that's almost in the next trailer as well. It's iconic. It's iconic. Thank you for your consideration. <laughs> 10 out of 10, no notes. Um, and then the final part I love is her going to storm off, but then remembering the bow and putting it back, back nicely, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to call the fuss here. Got mad. Mad? On a good show, it's fine. How about just bad manners, Sinner? We have a serious situation. <laughs> nice shooting, sweetheart. <laughs> oh, hey, Mitch and Effie are so mom and dad coded. <laughs> you know? Effie freaking out about it oh my god what the hell why'd you do this this is terrible then Hamish comes in what were their faces like huh huh they were startled 
Oh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Cato, four of ten. Globe of ten. Rue, four of seven. Peter Malone. Score of eight. Excellent. <laughs> is it Bravo worthy? <laughs> eight out of twelve is good. Sure. But Rue got a seven. And I've got to know what Rue in there to get a seven. <laughs> no offence to Rue. But she's twelve. You know? What did she do to get a twelve? I... <sighs> Peter, you you got one better than Rue, okay. It is, it's a bit disappointing to me. But I love you anyway. Katniss 11. <gasps> yes! Congratulations. They must have liked you guys. Katniss Everdeen, a girl on fire. Oh. oh, Peter. Yeah, he was happy with himself an eight. Then Katniss gets an 11 and blows everyone else out of the water. And they're all toasting Katniss and he's just there like, literally no one believes in me, huh? I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh, oh, Peter. She shot an arrow at your head. Well, had an apple. Why do you think we have a winner? Why not round up 24 of them and execute them all at once? Hope. The only thing stronger than fear. True. It would be a lot cheaper as well. <laughs> but hope. Giving the districts hope that they can get somewhere close, you know, to the stratosphere of the capital and its citizens. That hope. Uh, to keep them going, doing what you want, you know, and to keep them under control. Uh, what's it got going? And yeah, Snow didn't like Katniss the second he, her and Peter stepped out in those fire outfits at the at the chariots. <laughs> so giving her an 11, Seneca, not going to endear yourself to him. A little hope is effective. A lot of hope is dangerous. The spark is fine, as long as it's contained. So? So, contain it. Yeah. Last thing he wants is a big fire of hope. You know. <laughs> Contain it. You know, you gave this girl an 11. She came out in a fire outfit. Let's not let get, let this get out of hand, Seneca, please. And let us work with our own tributes right before the game. So you and I will be going down at 9. Well, what about him? He wants to be trained on his own. What? This kind of thing does happen at this point. Only one winner, right? And Katniss took that personally. <laughs> she was being harsh to him. Remembered him giving her the bread. Um... And now, you know, he's wanting to train on his own. Yeah. He's not very good at making friends, Katniss. You know? She remembers this kind actor on Peter and then he wanted to train her own. And she's thinking maybe I was right not to trust him, his game plan and all that. <sighs> it's tough. It's tough for Katniss. When you came out of that chariot, my heart stopped. Tell me about the flames. I'm wearing them today. Would you like to see? <laughs> oh. Katniss kind of nervous, but he's smashing it. Gets the nod of approval from Sinner. Up, spinning, showing off the flames. She's a natural. She is a natural. Give Sinner that. He's right there. She's a natural. I have one more question for you. It's about your sister. Did she come and say goodbye? Yes. And what did you say to her? That I would try to win. And try you will. Katniss Everdeen, the girl on fire! Katniss nailed that. Very personal. Very likeable. You got them... F you, got the, you got the capital... You know, possible sponsors feeling for you, wanting to help you, wanting to help you try to win to get home to your sister. And that gets you sponsors. 10 out of 10. Good work, Katniss. I mean, no, 9 out of 10. No one's perfect at these interviews except Peter, okay? No one can be a good, as good as God himself, okay? The showers here are weird. We have different showers. Do I smell like roses? Um, uh, all right. Do I smell like... You definitely smell better than I do. Well, I've lived here long. Look at Peter. You know, get his feet up, cross-legged, get all comfortable. He was born for this. Okay? Him and Caesar Flickerman, as a talk show duo, as a commentary duo, would have gone down in capital history. The, ugh, their natural banter. Their natural communications. The natural, very overt sexual tension between the pair, where at any second they could just rip each other's clothes off and start doing it. That's what you want from a commentary team, honestly. Is there a special girl? There is this one girl, but I don't think she'll recognize me until the reaping. You win this thing. She'll have to go out with you. I don't think winning's gonna help me. Why not? Because she came here with me. <gasps> oh my god. Peter. No one drops a bomb mid-interview like Peter. Because she came here with me. <laughs> Peter, 10 out of 10. Oh my god, zero notes. This boy was born for this. He was born for the talk shows. Oh my god, Katniss is very like, what the f <laughs> That's part of his game? <laughs> oh, Peter. 
Oh, I love you. He did you a favor. He made me look weak. He made you look desirable. Now I can sell a star-crossed lovers from District 12. We are not star-crossed lovers. It's a television show. He's right. <laughs> they just hold a hell of a storyline to the networks there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. And honestly, you know, it might be a double win here. Because with his crush on Katniss, you know, let's all be honest. Jennifer Lawrence comes up to you, grabs you, pins you against the wall, starts choking you a little bit. Maybe I don't want Hamish to drag her off. <laughs> Maybe you're having quite a nice time in this scenario. <laughs> oh, Katniss is not happy. But Hamish and Sinner are very right. This is not a bad thing. This is probably most likely a good thing. They'll put all kinds of stuff up the cornucopia. There'll even be a bow there. Don't go for it. Why not? It's a bloodbath. They're trying to pull you in. You turn, run, find the high ground, look for water. Oh, some last minute tips from Hamish. Yeah. Yeah, don't go to the cornucopia. I don't know if every it's like, a, you know, in your head you might have a zombie survival plan. Do you have a, do you have a Hunger Games survival plan? Don't go to the cornucopia. That's a bad bath. Get out of there. Get a backpack if you can. If not, into the woods or, you know, away from the cornucopia you go. Uh, don't take your chances. It's not worth it. It's never worth it. The opening of the games itself is great. You know, no big... I don't know, you could do... You could do the big one with a cannon for the start. They're all rushing the screen in the shadow lane, but no. Just the kind of the ringing in the ear, like, like you know, because it's just, it's just war, essentially. <laughs> it's all just kind of, all the noise going away, and just focusing on all this brutality going on, first and foremost. It's, it's very well done. <laughs> Cat is taking the risk going for the backpack, getting it. Uh, and getting a free knife from Clove as well. <laughs> we call that a dub in my books. Um, and yeah, confronted with Fox face. Uh, face to face, the first real time, you know, right, directly face to face, ages away from someone. And you're both are like, we're meant to kill each other now. <laughs> and Fox face, whose primary skill was, you know, knowing the poison berries by the look of it. <laughs> from the game she was playing to play Snap. Um, confronted with 11 over here, Katniss. It must have been bricking it. <laughs> but no, Katniss ain't looking for, for it like that, Fox face, Fox face. Luckily for you. Hey, lover boy. You sure she went this way? Yeah, I'm sure. You better be. Are you sure we shouldn't just kill him now? Nah, he's our best chance of finding her. Oh, uh, I really want Katniss, you know, the 11. Um, yeah, Katniss's face, like, you know, she's really untrusting of Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Cannot state that enough. But yeah. Peter, uh, by sticking close to him, he does a few things. He, A, keeps himself alive. B, can kind of lead him away from Katniss. And also C, if they find Katniss, he can try and save her at least. He can, he can, he can give it a go. Oh boy, the boy, big bread boy, can't he? She is two kilometers away from the nearest tribune. Let's turn her around. This feels like an overreaction. <laughs> she, she, she's too far away from the other tribute. She's nearly at the edge of the map. What is the answer here? Um, let's burn her alive. <laughs> this feels like an overreaction. Imagine what a, a you know, big time capitalist is, and you put a bet on Katniss. Okay, the eleven. You, you thought, hey, good or easy odds, right? Easy money. Um, and then she dies via burning unrelated to any of the other kids you'd be pissed you'd be pissed <laughs> assholes assholes <laughs> taking her directly to the bloody career tribe that's just that's a dick move that's a massive dick move i know you want to deal with her at all but Jesus Christ, firing fireballs at her, burning her, and then sending her to the career. <laughs> they hated this woman. Right, right from the first, first film. 
16 years old. They hate her. Come on, come on. Maybe you should throw the sword. Let's just wait her out. She's got to come down at some point. Somebody make a fire. Oh. I mean, shout out Catalyst, absolutely burn them there. Why don't you throw the sword? <laughs> they cannot fire that bow. For, you know? <laughs> Uh, Katniss, she would have been smashing those shots. Bang, bang, dead. Not even bang, bang, just bang, on the ground, out of the tree, dead. You know, they, she's built different, they're not. Uh, Peter Fair, Peter just, you know, trying to get him to stop firing at her to give her a little respite. <laughs> Fair. Um, they could just kill Peter now, they know where she is. They've got her under control to them, so they could kill Peter, but... Um... I guess, you know, he's the only one who knows survival skills here, probably. <laughs> they all were training with the swords and the knives. And he was training to, you know, start a fire. Which comes in handy. <sighs> shout out, shout out. Oh, Candace in clear pain from the burn on her leg. And to use what precious little water she has on it to just like stem the pain. Painful for me to watch. Painful for Hamish. <laughs> Hamish is like, nah, I'm doing something about this. Sets out. He starts smoozing with, with capital citizens, which for Hamish sounds like a lot of effort, honestly. Um, <laughs> starts smoozing, starts doing his thing, putting on the charm. And just like that, bang. He finds a sponsor. He gets to the burn cream. Shout out. Shout out. And shout out, how good would Peter be at getting sponsors? <laughs> Peter's charm. He would be nailing sponsors left and right, okay? We would get, we would get, we would be getting Finnick Trident style sponsorships for District 12 every year with that boy. I think those are tracker jackets. Miracle Cream. Because that burn's completely, you know, cleaned up now. And Miracle Rue, because that little genius, oh my god. <laughs> uh, quietly alerting Katniss, getting up that high, first of all. Alerting Katniss, over there, letting him know a simple plan. Cut them, drop them on them. Genius. 10 out of 10, Rue, 10 out of 10. I mean, once again, 10 out of 10 plan from Rue, okay? Because I worked like a charm. Got rid of the careers from the tree so Katniss could get out. Killed one of them. R.I.P. Glimmer. Um, you know, it has its drawbacks. She got stung herself in the process, and so she's hallucinating a little bit. She fell out the tree a little bit. That hurt. Um, but she got a bow and arrow out of it as well, so... I mean, more, I, I, I'm calling this a win, honestly. More positives. <laughs> Oh, God, Katniss going through it. God, in a death arena full of a bunch of kids trying to kill her, mainly. Um, I then get stung by a very, very angry wasp, which makes her hallucinate back to the day her dad died. That's not a fun time, is it? Thankfully, Rue's here, though, to, you know, cover her with leaves um, and to make sure no one kills her or make, you know, no one steals her bow and arrow. And to keep an eye on her. <laughs> oh, I love her. Maybe my top Rue in in media. I don't know. Rue, um, child of Kanga from Winnie the Pooh, is is up there. It's one of them. I think it's this one though. The boy from my district. Yeah, he's okay. I think he's down by the river. Is all of that true? You and him. <laughs> so where are Kato and the others? All their supplies down by the lake. That sounds tempting. Such big sister, little sister energy. <laughs> Getting ready to do some pranks together, a bit of mischievousness. You know, <laughs> Rue teasing about Peter. Is it true about you being together? Oh, I love it. I love it. Cuddling up at night. Beautiful. We need a signal. Okay, like what? Uh... Mockingjay, that's great. Iconic. 
iconic again. So much about this film is iconic, you know? It's just iconic. Four notes. That's so iconic. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <gasps> Okay, I'll just snap to his neck. No sword or anything. No, just a quick snap of the neck. All right, Kato. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Blaming this kid. Blame whichever one of you numbskulls idea it was to put all your worthwhile possessions in an area surrounded by and directly on top of landmines. Uh, that's just a dumb idea. <laughs> Oh, it hurts. She's so young. They're all young. She's 12, for God's sake. They're so innocent. <sighs> she got bloody speared by Richie, of all people. Screw Richie. God. Between Sam and Katniss, we stand anyone putting that man down, okay? Oh, God. All right, Pete Rue. You were a real one. You're okay. Did you blow up the food? Every bit of it. Good. You have to wink. Sting. Okay. Lay down your head. Oh, God. Oh, God. I always need a minute after that scene. Oh, she's so scared. Katniss just holding her. I don't know, we'll be okay. Singing her while she goes off. Hurts. It hurts. Oh. God, that hurts as well when I jab into me. <laughs> oh, it hurts. It's fine. Oh. Amongst all the bloodshed and the anger, just a moment of pure love and innocence. Just. You know, doing up her jacket so she doesn't get cold. Surrounding her with flowers. Giving her some flowers to hold. Giving her a final kiss. Oh, Rue. Rue did not deserve it. But I'm very glad Katniss was there when it happened. Oh, God, I'm glad. District 11 did not take that well. A little uprising. A little revolution <laughs> for the afternoon before the capital shows up to put things back in place with the hose. But yeah. I mean, fair enough. They, they, they knew Rue. She was 12, for God's sake. And the brutal way she died. And then seeing the comparison between the capital sending her to die and then this other girl from District 12 who didn't even know Rue going to so much effort to make sure her final resting place is this nice, lovely little thing for her and for her family. Fair enough. Like, let's burn it to the ground, guys. Don't kill her. You'll just create a martyr. He wants. I know you know how to handle a mob. If you can't scare them, give them something to root for. Such as? Young love. Shout out Haven, right? <laughs> little finger in the back, pulling all the strings, <laughs> getting the sponsors. Again, getting this in, I, he, he was working overtime, okay? For the first time in God knows how many years, he thought there was a chance. Katniss and Peter made him think there was a chance District 12 could win this. And he was going to work overtime to make sure at least one of these kids got out of here alive, okay? <laughs> and he was just trying his goddamn best here. <laughs> oh, God. Seneca, killing Katniss would have a terrible impact, I feel. Like, you know, it looks like we've already got a martyr. If you kill her, you will, dude. That, that's kind of what martyrs do. They die and then they kind of live on. Killing everyone, the adverse effects you want here, man. Attention, tributes. The regulations requiring a single victor have been suspended. Two victors may be crowned if both from the same district. You can see the cogs in her head starting to turn and immediately thinking, Peter. Gotta find him after this news. 
thank you, Hamish, again. Um, and yeah, the only other option would be uh, K Kato and Clove, who, according to the fanfics, would also be thinking that, but they're right next to each other at the time. <laughs> and so they're vibing, like, we got this, baby, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it is hilarious, okay. Peter's... I know he's been painting cakes a while. <laughs> but the skill to do that... And it could just be with the stuff he had on hand. Maybe Hamish went to a sponsor and said, Look, we really need to head down to Hobbycraft and get some paint supplies, okay? we got to send that in. <laughs> Either way, also impressive... Candace obviously can't even remember and that uh, uh, Rue said about she thought, last time she checked people was down by the lake. Um, he's been here for days <laughs> in that position. Boy is very lucky to be alive. We'll just get you some medicine. I don't get many parachutes. We'll figure something out. Like what? That needs to be so bitter, Gail. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. So why that look off your face? <laughs> Kind of just trying to comfort Peter, Peter here. Okay, he got cut by a bloody sword for Christ's sake. He's been laying like the Mona Lisa next to the rapids for days, bleeding out. Let's, let's cut a little slack, okay? <laughs> I guess food is all right, yeah. Food, that's also a liquid, so also hydration as well. I mean, it's a solid option, I guess, hey, Mitch. The medicine could have been good, but I guess this helps both of them. Um, the bloody note. <laughs> you called out a kiss. It just makes me think, hey, Mitch, in another life, would have been a fantastic parent on, like, you know, those, like, kids dancing shows about their mums. You know, dance mums, is it? <laughs> He'd have been fantastic on that. You called out a kiss, that all you got? Incredible. <laughs> and the bloody look Katniss gave, like in the, like we're in the office, just at the camera. No, no, it's 10 out of 10. I remember the first time I saw you. Your hair was in two braids instead of one. You sang in the music assembly. I watched you going home every day. I'll say something. I'm not good at saying something. Then come here. Even if I don't make it. Oh, he, he really in love, love with her, huh? He down bad for Katniss. And fair enough. <laughs> fair enough, Pete. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. And the bloody the riz on this man. <laughs> Say something. I can't. Just come here then. Oh. Oh, the capital as well. Eating this up. Eating up this little rom-com playing out in the murder kids game. Eating it up. There will be a feast. Each of you need something. Your medicine. I'm not gonna risk your life. Then. You would do it for me. Why are you doing this? No, there's no way I'm letting you go. Okay. Yeah, Kat is obviously largely like saying <laughs> she's getting Peter the medicine he needs. Okay, he is get it. She is getting it for him, no matter what. Okay. And Katniss, yeah, not the best with words, so we'll go with actions. And hey, hey, Mitch, like hey, Mitch said, you called out a kiss. Well, here is one for you, Hamie. And I'm sure the viewers at home preferred that a lot more. <laughs> Too bad that you couldn't help her. We killed her. <laughs> you killed her? <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my god, hard tussle between Clove and Katniss. Clove coming out on top of her superior training, having trained all her life at all. <laughs> oh my god. This is why this is why villain supervillains shouldn't monologue before trying to kill the villain. The hero. Don't tell him your plan. Don't lean over Katniss talking about how you murdered that child. <laughs> Cause Fresh is still here. And he can smash you to death. Not like that. Oh. R.I.P. Clove. Her final words were screaming out for Kato, who never came. Rip. R.I.P. Just this time, Twelve. For real. Katniss gets the medicine to take back to Peter. That's big from Fresh. <laughs> that is big from him. <laughs> Considering that there's... Um... 
What? Jesus Christ. Four people left? Katniss? Five people. Katniss, Peter, Kato, Fox, Faith, then him. And he's leaving her alive. Knowing that he, if he could kill... If he killed Katniss now, Peter would die from his wounds. And it would just be him and two others. Kato, his only real threat. No offense, Fox, Faith. Um, yeah. Very generous from you. <laughs> That's all I'll say. Peter. What happened to you? The girl from two, she threw a knife. That feels better. Oh, you. <laughs> There's so much to God. Not so much tension could exist. Just between, but just between putting some lotion on someone's car. My God. Never had that with any of my nurses, okay? Where is my PETA nurse, please? <laughs> they probably weren't looking at that, but I just like to think all the people in the control were looking at that. Like, they had to stop their work like... This is nice. <laughs> Fair enough if that's the case. I hardly feel anything. We could go home. We could go home. <laughs> Probably hunt around here. I'll take the bow. I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's so funny, Peter. He's such a funny guy. <laughs> Okay. That's Nightlock, damn you! I never even knew she was following me. <laughs> Alright, Pete Fox face. <laughs> Down to four. I feel bad. Well, I think her, I think her name was me meant to be Finch, but everyone just calls her Fox face, so what am I meant to do? <laughs> oh, yeah, you shouldn't have stole those berries. She assumed that Peter knew what he was doing, which was her first mistake. <laughs> but yeah, you could tell Katniss really cares about Peter now. That, no way she's faking that reaction, okay? She is a terrible actress, Katniss. What are you doing? Maybe Kato likes berries too. What time is it? A little afternoon. Why is it getting so dark? Must be in a hurry to end it. That's it. That's excellent. Gods. You can tell he's 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 rock hard staring at that genetic dog. <laughs> he is rock hard staring at this mutt they've made him. <laughs> oh. What was that? That's the finale. R.I.P. R.I.P. You were nice. You could have won the whole damn thing, Fresh. <laughs> Katniss staring. Okay, yeah, Katniss looking up at him. It's a bit sad and thankful. You know, he let her live and all. And he knew Rue was close to Rue. It's tough. But it does mean there's only one other person left. Just Kato to go, guys. The mutts are horrifying. I remember seeing them for the first time in a cinema. And they're just, oh my god. Gun is hitting that bullseye with the arrow and it just kind of shook it off. Jesus Christ. First of all, what is with everybody and going for Peter's goddamn legs, okay? <laughs> Leave the poor boy's legs alone. <laughs> Oh god, and the finale of the finale, here's Kato, on top of the cornucopia, mutts all below, a sea of mutts below, ready to kill you if you fall. Shoot, and we both go down and you win. Anyway, that always was, right? And if I'm the first night, Katniss realises that even the career tributes are, you know, just children still sent to the death games. I mean, they spent their whole lives training ready for the death games. It's, oh, God. Yeah. Not nice. Not, yeah. Not, not nice. Oh, okay, what? Huh? Huh? I can still do this. One more kill. <laughs> Smart from Peter, first of all, telling Katniss, shoot it here. It worked. Forced him to let go. Kicked him off. Um, and then just um, letting him to the dogs, you know, having realised these are just children and all, <laughs> even her dislike to the careers and that, putting him out of his misery so he doesn't have to be, you know, prolonging mauling to death, which isn't a nice death, I imagine. And we're down to Peter and Katniss, our Everlock. The, uh, the... <laughs> Who the father? Not me.
Pension tributes. There has been a slight rule change. The previous revision, allowing for two victors, has been revoked. Only one may be crowned. Good luck. Pricks. Pricks, assholes, dickheads. I don't have enough words. Jesus Christ. Both of their faces at that. They had relief for like one moment that it was over. They both survived. They both somehow come out of this alive. And then that. Pricks. Go ahead. One of us has to die. They have to have their victor. They don't. Trust me. Two. Three. Stop! Stop! The winners. The 74th annual Hunger Games. Oh. First, Peter just volunteering, saying, you know, kill me. Just kill me. I'd rather you live. Beautiful. Shout out, Pete. Um, and Kat's like, nah, 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 screw this. Maybe thinking that they, may, yeah, you know, thinking they'll they'll rescind because they, you know, they want a winner. They need a winner. The berries. I love the frantic stop, stop <laughs> over the speakers. As Peter and Katniss win. I win the Hunger Games. Oof. They're not happy with you. Why? Because I didn't die? Because you showed them up. Not very happy with them either. Katniss, this is serious. Not just for you. They don't take these things lightly. Like, uh, Hamish was talking experience, you know? The, the Capital One having the way that he won his Hunger Games using the force field at the 50th. Um, and I mean, for it, they killed his entire family and the girl he loved, I'm pretty sure. So he knows how serious it is, Katniss. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Yeah, President Snow really not happy with how that played out. <laughs> you know, he changed the rule in the first place. He's, he's, President Snow's like, fine then, here you go. Uh, <laughs> locking him in a prison with only the Nightlock berries that will kill him. Beautiful parallels. The Nightlock's beautiful. You say you couldn't help yourself. You'd rather die than not be with him. How did you feel when you found him by that river? Like the happiest person in the world. Oh. God, kind of selling it hard, like Hamish said to him. And Peter, look at her. Because Peter fully believes that's how she feels, and he doesn't know that she's playing to the cameras. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. And she doesn't know she's not actually playing to the cameras because she actually does really care about Peter. <laughs> so many things going on. Congratulations. Thank you. What a lovely pin. Thank you, it's from my district. They must be very proud of you. <laughs> President Snow going through it. He's had to go through all of this. He's had to kill all the head games player. <laughs> to create it first. <laughs> He's having to crown both of these guys winners. <laughs> and then he moves to her and she's got, a mock got the mocking j pit. He's getting PTSD flashbacks to Lucy Crayford. <laughs> and he's like, it's that, always that bloody pin. It's always a District 12 girl. It's always that bloody pin. <laughs> so what happens when we get back? I guess we try to forget. I don't want to forget. Oh, president ends with presidents now watching on their celebrations, <laughs> thinking this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> he, this is gonna be a problem. <laughs> and what a problem it was! Oh my god, so good! What a movie! I love this movie. It's probably my most watched movie, honestly, and what one of my, right there with my faves. I love the Hunger Games. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below about the Hunger Games as a, a, this film individually, series as a whole. Um, any memories you have around it would be lovely, actually. Uh, the books, the films. What are your thoughts on the upcoming film, Battle of Song vs. Snakes? Are you excited? I'm very excited. I can't wait. Let me know all your thoughts on everything Hunger Games, honestly, in the comments down below. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. I really hope you have. Um, and subscribe for more. Three more films to watch. So don't you know, subscribe so you don't miss directions to those. And as always, I just want to say a very special thank you for watching, and may the odds be ever in your favour. <laughs>